Okay, so uh, me and Kev decided that uh, we're going to do like a elf lady face. So he's got these books here, right? So we're going through these books. I like I like this kind of elf lady, a skinny face with the long nose. Hey guys, look, it's the dragon. He made the dragon video. There it is, just carved Rob. I've seen people in my group, I got a Facebook group, Carving Fusion World of Wood Carvers, yeah. try to make dragons like the you, this dragon here. Yeah. So they're watching your videos. Oh, cool. Yeah, uh, Brian Moore out there in the UK did one. Hey, Brian. Hey, Brian, There's, nice. Yeah, wicked. Okay, so we're going to get set up here. He's got, he's got burls all over the place. And uh, here's the burl I'm going to be, this is yellow cedar, yep. Yeah, with bird's eye in it. Bird's eye, yellow cedar, baby. This looks like a face here, like the eye and the mouth. That's so. it, you see it. Oh, I, like yeah, this guy here, you know. Yeah, this is, what is this kind of curve? That look, That's you guys, a look. Burl, he's like an orc sort of face. He's an orc wart face. Yeah, so I just look at the lumps, I could see where her nose was there. Put some holes in him, give him a little lip, put some eyes in, done. So at least like, see, how he, it, right? see how he used the wood to make the face, basically. Yeah. Oh, and the friggin' tree itself is the ears. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> I cut it off a tree and I'm like, oh, I can do something with that. And yeah. then you sit around and you look at your burls, like the ones I got on the wall. And then sometimes you see something in it. That's right, yep. Okay, we gotta get set up here and get going. Okay, so like I showed you guys, this is yellow cedar. I'm gonna do a burl, and Uncle Kev's gonna do a burl. And um, this is the face that we chose, because this beautiful little elf lady, because this burl, like we both decided, this is such beautiful wood, because it's bird's eye. You wanna have lots, you don't wanna have too much detail in it. You wanna have more of the wood showing so you can see the bird's eye inside of it, right? So when Kev gets back, we're gonna go over drawing it on. This isn't going to be a full tutorial video. This is a video about like uh, me learning, and Kev's learning too because he hasn't said he hasn't carved elf face in a long time. So we're just it's just about having fun is what it's about. But I see a lion face in here or something kind of. Look again, there's the eye, the mouth. Anyways, so this is going to be it. And this comes from this book. Um, I don't know, but I'm going to buy this book myself because there's super cool things in here. These are the kind of carvings I want to get into. Fantasy stuff, right? We can use the battery saw because you're not going to be used a saw long. Okay. Okay, I'm looking at this piece. We're going to do this face. So, you you would like to do some outline? I need to first. Because I've never yeah. Done it. yeah so. so, let's just draw this out. Leave a bunch over here. Push that head right about here. And then push the face in. Then you got flowy hair here flowy hair here, just go with the grain of that wood, okay. what it's sort of speaking to you. Oh sure, I'll give it a go. Um, so I'm saying we'll probably go about this height here, like she's got a good forehead. And then come on down here ways into her nose. And then her lippies right in through here. And then she's got that bigger chin. You can bring that out later, but just give yourself a little bit of room. To, in case you gotta take it down, yeah, right? Yeah, you can push that back. And then into her nice neck here. And then, and then we wanna keep sort of the bangs here. And that hair is flowing like this. Back over. Right over her cheekies. Like so this is what we're going to push in, what you're going to push in. Yeah, so I'm going to push this part in. Right? Yeah, so dig this out with the saw. Like Ryan says, true to the line? <clears throat> Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, okay. True to the line, and then, but you've got, you're giving yourself some room to play, but don't go inside the line. Yeah. At okay. all, because look at that. you got a nice face going there. Yeah. you got lots of room for some hair. Yeah. And you can always bring your chin in. And then remember, once you get in here, you can um, get some depth in there, and then you can bring that hair, push that hair in. I've done a carving here. like this already, and I called it Karen's Dream, like my mom, right? Oh, cool. A side view face. Yeah. The side view face is the best way to start with a female face. Great tip. It's really hard to like match them up yeah. really well. Because somebody, because I kept on getting challenged to carve a wood spirit lady face, 
But I did this exact same carving, Kev. Oh, did you? And I called it Karen's Dream. Nice. So we're going to go here where your eyebrow is, and then your eyelid here. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, yeah. I'm not much of a drawer either. But you can see it. See it here. That's just under her eyelid a bit there. Uh, right over here would be her nose and that line here. And then her mouth. Once you get this all in, yeah, and then get rid of this on. outside wood, you know, you're losing that drawing anyways. Yeah. But mentally, um, I find like first 20 minutes, you're just sort of hacking away at wood. Yeah, and that's it's right. Like, what the hell's going on? Try here? and get the and shape. And then you just keep going back to your picture. And then after 20 minutes, it's like you're reading a book, okay. you know, or watching a good movie. But you're in it. You're in the yeah. story now, you know. Okay, so and then after 20 minutes, it's like you're reading a book, okay. you know, or watching a good movie. But you're in it. You're in the yeah. story now, you know. Okay, so let's get you cutting yours first, and I'll okay. see how you do it. Yeah. I'm rolling. So me and Kev are both making videos today. His is going to be possibly a time-lapse video, right, Kev? Yeah. Right away, I'll just use um, the saw. So then you can play with the saw. So I'm just going to go from the picture real quick. He's using his uh, battery-powered Dewalt. I'm um, sorry, Husqvarna saw. Yeah, little battery Husky saw. I'm going to just go with um, follow the picture lines. Right here. Here we go. Yeah. See that? Try and keep this a heavy for the hair. Face will be back here. up your v cut you know sorry what was that again too uh, yeah you just um i always just plunge in slightly away from the line okay and then um do a v cut on this side okay get that chunk out of there and you want to go fairly deep on this because we got to push this back to bring out the grain so you're going to need to go in like an inch okay at, at least on the outside i think okay it's hard to say yeah but okay. that's where you're going to get your little bird's eye yeah coming it's out of there true color yeah, yeah. Get the nice color, so yeah, go for it, man. This is a nice little saw. Yeah. This is so you got a button right here, it goes green, and you're ready to rock. And then don't worry about this because this is going to be all gone. So you can go deep here. You don't need to go super tight here to try and get that nose. You're doing good though. Yeah. And the, you see how dry it is and the oh, tip's yeah. smoking yeah. like a bugger oh, too. That's right? why it's so dry. So that usually means you want to take your rakers down a little bit. Okay. That usually means you want to take your rakers down a little bit. Okay. Um, but for this episode we'll just get her fuck done. it <laughs> yeah, running through it man fuck her get her done
taking off, taking off her face, Kev? Yep. Um, just give it a wiggle for where you want your hair, though. Oh, yeah. Um, because that might be nice to leave naturalish. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. So if if you just follow this line a little bit. Okay, so right yeah, take off that face. But remember to keep some of that hair here. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Now you can just, um, I'll get rid of a bit of this. Okay. And then that'll give you working room um, for the face. Okay. Know what I mean? Yeah. So just come I into see, here. Yeah, yeah. Get rid of that line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come to this side though. And then just try and, you'll feel it when the tip goes through. Yeah. Try not to cut into the nose though. Yeah. So you can just do a slight um, slice, slice, slice. Then you know you're not, then you'll be able to see where the, uh, this is because you don't want to dig in there and then you yeah, get a bad no. cut. In yeah. Your nose. You could go more, but you can always get should it later. This off? I would, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's cracks, looking good yeah, already. Look at the cracks going through, right? Yeah, but that's where you do your hairlines. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, now, do you want me to cut this? I'm gonna go a bit deeper in there. Um, you could. Yeah, that's the thing. Now it's out of the way. You see where you're at. I'm actually seeing the face already. Are you? you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then you can see that hair. Yeah, absolutely. So with these little cracks, that's your, where you're putting your hair and absolutely. you hide that. So, yeah, if you come right here, dig that in a bit deeper, and then we'll push this way with it. Okay. And then it brings her face outwards a little bit. Okay. Nice. No way. Go this way with your face, or do you want me to push it this way? Yeah, get rid of this still. So you've just chased, all you're doing right now is just chasing that face oh, in a bit. Oh, you cut right here? Yeah, come over here, do your V-cut again. Okay. So a little bit of back and forth right now. And then what it, it it's letting you, you see where the cracks are? Oh yeah. Pretty soon you get in there and you can see how it's starting to get bright yellow now. Yeah. That's sort of where you want your face to be at. Okay. And then you're not going to end up with the, the, let's just see where that crack ends right there. It only goes in a half inch, right? Yeah. So we want to get that off the face. can just pop it out like that Perfect. I'm just trying to be careful with your saw because it's not my saw oh that's okay you're good man oh yeah nice you don't even need to worry about that crab. you're gonna be cleaning that up with the hair okay let's get in under this chin here okay. and get that gone gold in there eh? Yeah. so now let's do the face so you can see this line here we want to get most of the whitish off there just get that sort of flattened off um, right to this line here at least that we got how, there how would you do this cut from like here yep
Nice. There it is. There's the bird's eye. That is gorgeous. Yes. Now let's start playing with the other tools. Okay. Okay, so Kev says She's that got we're a bad hip. Oh yeah, she's a dirty birdie, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, Kev's saying that we're basically done with the saws now, and we can just start punching in the nose and the face and get because I don't have that much time because I'm super tired. I've slept like four hours in the last three nights. Oh yeah, I took Kev. You totally see the face there, but yeah, totally. And Come now, look at all the camera. Can, so don't worry about the hair right now. Yeah, just get going on this nose and um. Punch that nose in, and then you you can see this. So the nose has got to go in a ways, and then we've got that cheek right here. Okay. So let's draw that, like, because she's more of a little fairy nose Absolutely. right there. Do you want me to do yeah, that? I could do it, but I just so she a big slope has ahead. a super slopey head, eh? So her forehead goes like like sort of like a Neanderthal woman, and then it. Peaks out to here. Oh yeah. And yeah there's a cute little nose. Little button nose at the top there. Gotta give them the button noses. This is this. Give that, that, that's it there. And then we're gonna go here. And then from here, we've got her cheeky. She's got a pretty hard line, the fairy. And then it goes to here. And then underneath I've there. always struggled with lips. Oh, I know, lips. They are tough. It's just a matter of the angles you use, though. Just got like that, that little lip there, and then we've got a little dimple for her chinny. I don't know why I'm talking like this right now. Because you're in the uh, little, hand. you're in fantasy carving land. Fantasy land. Yeah, she's got. Oh, a little, look at she's looking cute. Yeah, she's got a little chinny. And then. Uh, and then we've got her eye right here, her eyelid. Remember, it's a fairy, so. Yep. Doesn't it's fantasy? It's fantasy. Those are the best type of females to do. That's right. Or date. That's right. And do. Date. Anyways. <laughs> and then the we grow, bring the hair yeah, here. That's his. But there, yeah, man. That's a. Kev, you're you can draw, buddy. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Yeah, she's got a huge chin. Oh yeah, we're gonna. This yeah, is yeah. just we'll gonna go. That down. This is gonna go right here. We don't need to make her a big witchy witch chin no. either. That's coming here. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah. So this is something, once you get into it, your head gets wrapped around it. Yeah. It's not going to look like the picture anyway. I, I know what that you're saying. That picture or that like picture. Like I'm cutting all this away. Yep. Cutting all in here away and just going to round the face first and then I'll exactly. start punching. So I remember your depths, like when we're looking at um, chicky pants here, you know. Does um, she have cancer? No, she hasn't, no. Oh, where's your hair? Well, fell out. Yeah, okay, but she does, she's healthy. <laughs> she's healthy. Yeah, look at those things. There. She is yep, healthy. Yeah, she's a good one. <laughs> Anyways. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so what I would say is dig in, get that cheek happening there first. It's the furthest out, the eye. Dig in for that eye right here. Okay. Dig in right in this corner. That'll get you going. Don't worry about the nose for now. Just start pushing that in, and then you can okay. start pushing. I'm not going to film this, um, me doing this, guys, because it, it, this video will be way too long. I'm just going to get it done, and then we'll show you. Because Kev's still working on his too, over here. His, his is going to be time lapse. So there's Kev's there. So we want to keep doing them both at the same time. Okay, thanks, bud. Okay, that's a good time. that's what I got so far. And uh, Kev's going to do some carving, and then we're going to just uh, film him carving for a bit here. There he's punching in the eye. That Makita that he's using, that's the more powerful Makita. 
I gotta get one of those, but they're like 400 bucks. He's always looking up to the reference picture. Okay, look at the beautiful flow to Uncle Kevin's face. And he did this in like 10 minutes. So if you look at it from this angle, he's still got a lot more work to do. But it's a nice, petite, spiritual face, right? So I'm just so tired, like I've slept probably four hours in the last two nights. I'm not blaming my shitty carving on my sleep, but it's part of it. But so, also, we've challenged ourselves today. Yeah. Me and you, neither one of us are pro face carvers. You're, yeah, but you're a pro carver now. I'm a, I'm a pro, but all pros are learning all the time. Thank you. Yeah, that's good. I, I suck at some things. So, but your face, like, if you look at it over there, let, let's look at it from I'm here. I'm pretty happy with that, Look actually. at that face. I'm glad you challenged me today. I'm I didn't challenge you on it. I just said, you're good at faces, so let's do a face. Yeah, I'm good at tree syrup faces. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this, I'm so tired, Kevin said he would clean this up for me and make it like a face. And then I'm, I'm going to take it home, and I'm going to do all the, I can do this all, the hair and flowing stuff myself, right? So Uncle Kev's going to carve. And um, we're going to show you because see how high my eye is compared to the nose. Like the nose is not bad. But you see how high the eye is? Kevin saw, if you step back, the eye should be lower, right? It's just way too high. So let's step back and hopefully you guys can see that shadow. But Jordy, in your defense, when you first started doing the face, I was like, pull that eye up way higher. It's too close. And now... But it was back, now we're going back to almost where you started. Yeah. We're jumping back down. But, but now the nice I want to show is, them the shadow right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, point that out, please, Kev. Okay, look at this little line here. It's yeah. part of the bird's eye. And when you stand back, then you can actually see it looks like an eye and a bit of a brow. And because you got so much meat here, you can still push that back. You can save this piece. Carve deeper, you're guys. Doing, carve deeper. Start out shallow and chase it, you know, because you want to wrap your head around yeah, it. Yeah, so I got to get out of here. And uh, Kev's going to wrap it up for me. And then I'm just going to, I don't know. So I'll never, uh, I'll never sell that piece because it will be, it's like basically Uncle Kevin's carving. And, um. You know what? Like this is this is this is hundred. Ryan, if you see this video, this is hundred percent his spook owl, right? Your wife calls him. There it is. Look at those ears. But you know what, owl? I just love this owl. I just love it. This guy is like. He's like a profess, professor with his head way up. He's like, what are you looking at? I don't know. I just love this guy. So it goes to show you, you guys can make your carvings any way you want it. Who cares what people think? I myself am, will never be a realism carver. I won't. Oh, here's another spook owl. Look at this guy's right backwards. There's a spook owl. So, but what I'm going to start doing to learn out, because i got to learn 360 carvings more. I'm going to start, Kevin gave me permission to try and copy these guys. So I'm going to, once I get some more cedar, I'm going to try and do ones like this. Simple hands, no details in the hands. He goes, what, Jordy? If your face is good, people will buy it. The rest of the carving can be whatever, just do a good face. Anyways, let's go film uh, Uncle Kev carving for a bit. You guys right here. This is a Ryan Cook carving. That's super cool too. I looked at the back and I seen Cook. 
Yeah, it says cook crate right back there. It's Ryan, Ryan to the sky. This is the kind of carver that I want to be to do stuff like this. Now it's coming to life. You see, he's always looking up there for reference from that little mannequin thing. Watch his head. He'll look up there in a second. What? See it? Looking. He's listening to music. He can't hear what I'm saying. Okay, so Uncle Kev uh, finished this up for me. So this face is his carving. So you guys know I didn't carve this. He did this for me. Thank you, Kevin. I freaking love it. This is going to go in my living room. There is chance for me to touch it up if I see something that's off when I get home. But I don't want to change it because this is his carving. I'll deal with all the hair Oh, and stuff. you gave me some good pointers. Hey, Kev, this is a bit off here. And I'm like, oh, okay, let's just play with that a bit. And you're like, stop, perfect. Like for me too, it was a struggle. We, I knew we were doing some scary fairies today. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to take this one day when I got a good day and I'm going to spend a whole day carving the hair and uh, sanding it to like a thousand grit so you get the really bird's eye, really pops, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, we got a little bit of sawdust in here, but once that gets all cleaned out, this is more of a like a female eye. Where you do the upside down C and a couple flakes on there on yeah, the I eye. Yeah, I noticed that you did the little flakes. It's a little bit different than when I do my like my tree spirit eyes. Yeah, like they're, they're that dude, you know. So yeah, that's just one burn in there. So different types of eyes. Yeah, and you know what? Eyes sell. The oh, eyes yeah. are the sellers. Eyes are the sellers. So Kev, I just want to say thanks very much, man. It was a great friggin' day. Oh, and uh, wicked man! Thanks for the challenge for me too. I like, didn't challenge holy, nothing. Yeah. I just said, look I just... at how far your face is, and mine's still looking like poo poo caca. <laughs> yeah, but this is <laughs> actually it's too, a nice man. profile. This looks like kind of like a yeah. Sorry. The the thing is, when you're doing realism female profile, don't rush it. Well, it's the hardest face to carve. It man. is, and you know you get into that brow and you start bringing it up because they got really soft lines. And the softer it is, the look more it, female look it looks. Look how look I know, I love her. Okay, okay so say goodbye to um, Bridget. See you later, Bridget. Bye bye. She lost a hand in the yeah We're... chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful when you're running the saws, people, because this might happen to you. So it was an absolute fantastic time at uh, Uncle Kev's carvings. Um, I'm just out front of my old house here that's fronts a new add-on but the, see it's like an old barn that's where I lived when I was a little baby till about five or six years old so I'm just and I'm gonna uh, drive down here and go see the uh, old trailer park that's down there because I, I used to play lots my best friend lived in there yeah so <clears throat> this is uh baby tubo and I remember I remember this my best friend lived in here I'm just sorry guys I'm just kind of making this for myself for my own peace of mind yep awesome and look there's a deer this deer just walking around hey I guess that's the, lo the local uh, friendly deer.
perfect way to end the video. Look, there's another one. Hey, deer. Hey, buddy. I was telling Kevin, I remember this ditch here. Somewhere along this ditch here, when I remember walking across a log and I fell off the log into the ditch and hit my head on a rock and I uh, had to get stitches. Yeah, I remember, total remember. Okay, so I had to wait four hours for the ferry because one of the ferries broke down. So, but anyways, I'm on the ferry now. Um, I just wanted to take a second and um, Uncle Kev, if you watch this video and if your parents watch this video and your sister watches this video, I just want to say, man, I love you guys. And uh, thanks to Ryan Cook for introducing me to um, Uncle Kevin. And Uncle Kevin gave me some yew wood here. I don't know if you can see it. He gave me a piece of yew wood. Look at it. Yeah, and there's some uh, burl, cedar burl, and uh, another piece of wood because I'm going to make like a, one of those trees that he's got in his garden. I'm going to carve uh, wood spirits all up the uh, yew wood. And then I'm going to have like a mushroom top hat for like his trees. So thanks, Kev. Thanks everybody for watching. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the videos from this weekend. And I'm resting tomorrow. And then I'm going to finish this uh, carving that Uncle Kev basically did for me. I was just too tired. I, nothing would register. So being too tired, just like take a break. But I couldn't take a break. I was in Courtney carving with Uncle Kevin. So, but I just, nothing was registering and it wasn't working for me. So he, he helped me out a lot. So basically this is his carving and I'm just going to finish it off. So you guys, thanks everybody. Um, I appreciate all the subscribers. And um, we'll see you soon. I'll be over there in a, get, uh, in a month, Kev. Jeez, one more thing I forgot to say. I don't know if I said in the video, like, uh, head over to Uncle Kevin's channel and subscribe too. Because, you know, he's new to YouTube. He's only been at it for like a month or something. So he needs subscribers, guys. Ryan Cook's best friend, my good friend now. And uh, you guys see that he took the time out of his day. He could have been doing lots of other stuff for me to come over there and give me some carving lessons. So it's free. Please do me the favor head over there subscribe let's get him some more subscribers so he gets more motivated to do more videos that's how we're all gonna learn he's a pro carver he's rated pro please i'll leave a link in the description below to uncle kev carves and if you're not subscribed to carve uh to uh if you're not subscribed to uh ryan cook carving i'll leave a description in the video too down below i'll leave it in the something like that ryan cook carving uncle kev Kevin Carbon. Okay, enough. I'm too tired. Bye.